Next question comes from Hermie. Is Draymond back? And the answer here is yes. I think we've seen Draymond turn on the defensive Jets before um, in previous seasons. Over the last two specifically, though, it was definitely more selective. Last year was close to full bore. He made all NBA first defense and all defense first team, excuse me. And he definitely deserved it. This year is like a completely different being. We're talking about a Draymond Green who's at peak dynasty level. Uh, he came out and said that he's not appreciated enough, basically. And it wasn't unprompted, but he did say that defense doesn't go viral. And, and a lot of the people don't know what they're, they're talking about. And he's right. I mean, I cover this league for a living full time. And there's, I'm not going to know what I'm talking about on defense. And I wouldn't use myself as the standard because I'm a fucking idiot. But you watch Draymond Green on defense, though. If you do actually watch him, I, I think it's easy to appreciate what he does, the, um, how much he's going to communicate on the defensive end, and really just the the ground he covers and the smarts and the explosive control with which he he plays with, where he's someone who could really, he will hard close out on somebody, but is not going to foul them and will pull back enough if they're going to attack off the dribble and, and try and capitalize on his closeout, where it doesn't even feel like they have the advantage there. I think he's probably one of the best in the league at contesting shots while he's really backtracking and, and off balance. His, his rotations around the rim are just absolutely on point. And his activity level is such that I was watching the Warriors Cavs game. Was that Sunday or Saturday? I don't even, I don't even know at this point, but there was a play where he's in the middle of the floor. Like he's going to be in the half court a ton and he shifts over to um, his strong side, but the Cavs weak side for a pick and roll that's being run between Kevin Love and, and Darius Garland. Um, he immediately shifts over to cut off a, a cut that's coming from Isaac Okoro at the opposite end, uh, on the other end of that court. And then once that part of it's been neutered, he goes to cover Dean Wade in the corner um, and then also breaks up the play from Ricky Rubio there. Though I'm, st I'm stammering through this to try to remember the play. I should have had the highlight right in front of me. But he's, he's in the middle of the floor. He rotates over just to have his eyes on the Darius Garland, Kevin Love side pick and roll. Then he's moving over to cut off the Isaac Okoro cut. When that's not an imminent threat for him, he's going to the corner where Dean Wade is sort of camped out, but then comes back quickly enough just to break off the, the player. Ricky Rubio has the ball at this point to create a turnover there. He literally impacted all five guys in the Cavs lineup on that one half court possession. And that was, I don't know if that's the microcosm of Draymond Green's defensive impact, that play specifically, but that's just something that sprang to mind immediately uh, for me is that type of activity, even whether you don't know if that's what he's doing, supposed to be the, the right rotation or if the timing was there, or if he got lucky because Ricky Rubio took like a weird, weird path or didn't read um, that Draymond Green wasn't further enough in the corner for him to try and go attack down the middle there. Maybe R Ricky Rubio's handle was loosey goosey in the moment. There, there are types of things that I just won't account. I can't account for. Wouldn't be able to tell you, but that type of activity, and he just does it without fouling a ton. He is averaging 3.2 fouls per 36 minutes. This is right in line with 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, Draymond Green, um, where it's the third lowest foul rate of his career as of right now. It's tied with others, but it's the, when you go in like the, you know, like move the numbers more decimal places. It's the third lowest foul rate in his career, I believe. And that for the type of activity that he's shouldering, any someone, it's not just, we could, we could boil it down to he's the best defensive player on the league's best defensive team. That, that is absolutely a fair argument. It's also just his interchangeability, not his capacity to guard all these different positions, but where people looked at Robert Covington as a solution for Portland. And I, I loved that trade for the Blazers at the time. And I still don't necessarily despise it. I even like the Larry Nance Jr. Edition. You get a bunch of good team defenders, your defense should be better, but Robert Covington is not going to be this just lockdown one-on-one -on -one guy. He doesn't necessarily have the girth to do that, to couple that with his, his quickness and um, ability to use hands. And I think he's been last year. He's probably a little bit better in one-on-one -on -one situations than people credit him this year. I think he's just been exploited more. Draymond Green, can be that guy where it's I'm not necessarily going to be the the back line or the free safety of this defense. You want to put me on Kevin Durant? Go ahead and just put me on Kevin Durant. And he'll still do other stuff while he's defending Kevin Durant, but he will give opponents hell one on one. And there, look, there is something to I don't want to throw out the window just his positional malleability. But Warriors are playing the Blazers. 
And he's just so disruptive to Damian Miller. It's not even a matter of getting Damian Miller to, to miss shots. It's the ball denial. It's how he changes Lillard's course by the way that he is able to avoid screens. And it forces Damian Miller to get, to get rid of the ball, which is, you know, that is given Damian Miller's had struggles at points this season. That's a net negative proposition for the Blazers is to not have the ball in Damian Miller's hand. So Draymond Green is back. I think he's defending at the best level I can remember since like peak dynasty warriors. And he would be my pick for defensive player of the year right now. My long winded answer way of saying, I don't know that Draymond Green ever actually left us, but peak Draymond Green on defense appears to be back. 